very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to the series of gone too soon this particular record producer that i'm going to bring to you his name is practically mentioned in practically every single tribute that i did we're talking about a very very special individual here in regards to the movements of reggae music we're talking about none other than Clement Seymour Coxon Dodd. Coxon Dodd was born on the 26th of January in 1932. The Kingston-born Dodd used to play records to the customer in his parents' shop. During a spell in the American South, he became familiar with the rhythm and blues music popular there at the time. In 1954, back in Jamaica, he set up the downbeat sound system, being the owner of an amplifier, a turntable, and some U.S. records, which he would import from New Orleans and Miami. With the success of his sound system, and in a competitive environment, Dad would make trips through the U.S. looking for new tunes to attract the Jamaican public. While he did, his mother, Doris Darlington, who'd run the sound system and play the tunes. Dad opened five different sound systems, each playing every night. To run the sound system, Dad appointed people such as Lee Scratch Perry, who was Dad's right-hand man during his early career, U. Roy and Prince Buster. Perry would later leave Dad in 1966 due to Perry feeling disrespected by Dad. This is documented in the 1966 song, The Upsetter. When the R&B craze ended in the United States, Dad and his rival were forced to begin recording their own Jamaican music in order to meet the local demand for new music. In 1959, he founded a record company called World Disc. In 1962, he produced the jazz record, I Cover the Waterfront on the Porto Jam label. Two of the musicians who played on the album, Roland Alfonso and Dan Drummond, became founding members of the Scatalyze one year later. In 1963, he opened up Studio One on Brentford Road in Kingston. It was the first black-owned recording studio in Jamaica. He held regular Sunday evening auditions in search of new talent. And it was there that Dad auditioned Bob Marley, singing as part of the Whalers. In the early 1960s, Dad was producing ska hits by Toots and the Matels, the Gay Lads, and the Scatterlites. Dad's You're Wondering Now was initially recorded in 1964 by Andy and Joey in Jamaica and later covered by the Scatterlites, the Specials, and Amy Winehouse. It was also used as a theme tune for the British French crime drama television series, Death in Paradise. During the late 1960s and 1970s, the Studio One sound was synonymous with the sound of ska, rocksteady and reggae. And Dad attracted some of Jamaican new musicians, including Bernie Spear, Ras Michael, Delroy Wilson, or Sandy, sound dimension and the great, great Sugar Minot. In 2002, he was awarded a Gold Musgrave Medal by the Institute of Jamaica. He continued to be active in the music industry into his 70s, and on the 1st of May 2004, at Kingston Bradford Road, was renamed Studio One Boulevard in a ceremony which paid tribute to his accomplishment as a producer. He died suddenly of a heart attack three days later, age 72, while working at Studio One. He was survived by his wife, Norma, who passed in 2010. Dad was posthumously awarded the Order of Distinction in the rank of Commander on the 15th of October, 2007, for service to the Jamaican music industry. Clement Coxon Dodd. Practically every artist and the musician that I paid tribute to 
since I started on this beautiful journey of remembering our greats of greats who have gone on and gone too soon. His name is split every single artist. Whenever you say Burning Spear, you have to say Cox and Dad. Whenever you say Bob Marley, you have to say Cox and Dad. Peter Tosh, Bonnie Wheeler, every single artist who was an artist of substance at that particular time had to pass through Mr. Dodd. You know what it tells me, ladies and gentlemen? It tells me that Clement Dodd was one selfless individual, a perfect eyes for talent and a perfect ear for music. When you look at all of the greats, of the greats, of the greats, whoever is great had to come to Clement Cox and Dodd. I want to say to the family of Mr. Dodd, we offer you our sincerest condolences, even though we know it's many years later. But Clement Cox and Dad have done so much work. He has done so much work for the country of Jamaica. He need more than one commendation from the government. He need at least five or ten for the amount of work. Even when he was dying, Clement Cox and Dad was still working. I want to say thank you, Mr. Dad. Thank you for paving the way for all our great ones, those who have gone on and those who are still alive. Thank you, sir, because I'm a record producer and I admire your work, I admire your ethics, I admire everything about you. I would really love to be a Mr. Dodd, but I know, sir, your shoes are much too big for me to fit. Only you can fill those shoes. Clement Coxon Dodd. Wonderful kind, wonderful kind. Passed on at age 72, but still, you've gone too soon. Thank you so much for listening, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the most appropriate time to do so. What good, Clement Seymour, Cox and Dad. You came, you saw, and you definitely conquered. Thank you so much, sir.